Hello, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm John Windsor Cunningham. This video is about why I think it's a really bad idea for American actors to go to a drama school in England. And it also has a point for more experienced actors, which I'll come to at the end. Now, of course, there are some wonderful drama schools in England, and there are some exceptions, uh, stories of people who've come from America to England and been very successful as a result, but I think it's a really, really bad idea. And this is why. If you go to a drama school in England, you bond with the 20 other people in the class. You bond with them closely. You're going through discoveries about yourself, discoveries about acting, worrying about whether you're any good, thinking about your futures, sharing apartments for two years, arguing about this director or that play or deciding you don't like someone else's acting and then realizing you do and being together for two years on a course. And it's a wonderful experience. And you, you go through that and you stay in touch with those people for many years afterwards. And while you're in London at this drama school, if you've gone there from America, you'll be finding out about, at the same time, about which are the best agents, where the theatres are, which are the casting directors on television and film companies that are most approachable. And then you come back to America and you don't know about how things work here. You don't have contacts that you can phone up and ask about what they think of this agent or that photographer or this casting director. You know about London and you're trying to work here. And it's really a terrible mistake. The idea that casting directors in New York are going to jump up and down when they hear that you've been to a drama school in England and immediately give you a job, I think it's nonsense. And if you can get to see them, then fine, of course, it might work. But if you spent the same amount of time in New York or in L.A. or anywhere else at a drama school in America, then you would know about getting work here. I know lots of actors who only work in Colorado, between the theatre in Colorado Springs and the one in Denver and one or two others and a couple of film companies in Colorado, and that's where they work. I know others who only work in, in Florida, and of course there are thousands who only work in Los Angeles or in New York. But they've generally decided this is where they're going to work. Of course, if something happens and they find that their career takes them somewhere else, that's fine. But they know about, you know, if you're going to work in Florida, if that's where you want to be, then you choose the best town to work in, to live in, you find out where the agents and casting directors are, where the main companies are. And the idea of coming back from London after two years training and knowing about the directors there seems to me to be a terrible waste of time and money. You could have spent the money on having the best photographs in the world here. And when you're in London anyway, what are you going to be working on? You're going to be working on plays by Shakespeare and Oscar Wilde and British plays which might be of a little use, but will you be working on them in the way that Americans want to and need to and are used to doing? Will you know what American directors want you to know about them? And if you work on American plays in London, will you work on them in a way that works for America? It, you know, that you'll be working on them in a British way. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And I can feel myself moaning and being a little bit... Uh, complaining about it but I've just always thought that it was very strange and just a pure mistake when actors got worked up about the idea of going to London and somehow managed the cost of going there and going to a drama school there and then found at the end of a couple of years when they came back to America that they didn't know what they would have known if they'd stayed here so I think American actors should do everything they can. Everything they can do to get into a drama school here. And the last thought I'd say on this 
is that when you go to a drama school, you make a few friends. You make a few special friends. The chances are you're going to make one friend that will be with you for the rest of your life if you're still in London. And they'll be there to swap ideas and complaints and concerns and worries and hopes with. But if you're back in America, yes, they can still be your friend. But you want to bond with people here. I have a couple of, because I work in New York, or mainly from New York. I have a couple of friends in New York, mercifully, although I've done most of my career in England, who I can turn to in New York, who know about the business in New York. And my God, am I grateful. And the dear, dear, wonderful, lovely friends I have in London, Yes, I'm still friends with them, but can I ask them about this theatre company in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, or that director, the Guthrie, or this film company that's moved to New York? No, of course I can't. They do anything about it. So anyway, you've got the point. I think it's got to be a decision that you think very, very carefully about, and don't get lost in the idea of it being exciting just to be a tourist in London. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.